All right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy KG, and I'm back with another video, and I'm about to do a reaction vid because uh, I was uh, asked to do this by um Brian Harkin. He asked me to uh, react to um a call of fire in the booth part one. So I'm saying without further ado, I'm about to go ahead and react to this. But uh, let's get it. I know you're gonna dig this. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yo, yo, okay, yo, yo, I like you. You're like a tiger. Yes, I grew up on a door in a single parent family. Been through a little bit of tragedy. Yes, I was around drugs and violence before the day that I started secondary. That's part of it, not half of it. Mm. Get the picture, the rest ain't necessary. Growing up, got a little caught up. That ain't even half of my life. Also, given the knowledge of self, that is all we actually need to survive. If you saw Damn, me, it's real shit. Nothing. Reading Malcolm, just fine. Teachers still treated me stupid. Students that couldn't speak English, they put me in groups with. The irony is, mm. some of the first man to give me schooling, you were called gangsters. How you already explained yeah. that we know what the truth is. They used to say, don't be like me yeah i got a name and don't on the street night time comes i can't sleep it's the part that rappers don't speak we don't hit the road because we're thugs don't come out the room want to sell drugs if we got the right guidance and love would we fight people just like us how can mm. i knock the hustle to get by this is yeah he rhyming any storytelling so no this, wrong. Just don't this takes skill songs, but to my this is art at his best for well, rap at his best are, true art one too many man, you know, get caught up. One too many man that could have been doctors end up spending the whole life boxed up. You learn mm. if you stand Damn, could have been doctors to make them money. The whole life no cover. Up. It's all about Damn. getting poor people to fight with one another. So it's not to that us killing our brothers. This and our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time. But time is a cycle, not a line. Coming back around, you be Damn, he's no dropping ready for the knowledge. Energy, telling them a rhyme. Remedy the pedigree, the jeopardy your mind when the world is mm. left. It is a crime. We can all fight with our brothers over crumbs. Harder to fight the one who makes guns. We can all talk, get two dollars. Harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. If mm. We understood the economics with no money's nothing. Think nothing of it. Money is a means to get wealth. Not the wealth itself and don't get confused. Damn, from money, broke, all that you see mm. me do, I own, but I won't hang what I make about my neck. I know from where that the diamonds came, but I do literally own a library that definitely costs more than your chain. And businesses and property mm. far from starving. I eat quite properly and I don't care. Mm. You said it for the kids. You need to know you're not broke to listen. Don't know what I set from a liability. They've never been shown nor told the difference. So they don't change situation. Richest man in Britain is Asian. That's significant. Damn. Not coincidence. Asian people. Build businesses not by flossing, Damn. going out shopping, giving up the culture for everyone's profit. Who runs Bollywood? Indian people. Who runs our fish? So we shake our ass and dance as if racism just upped and vanished. But has it? No, it's right on course. You're beating so bad, you're trained to ignore. Let me not mm. just make sweeping statements. Damn, he is dropping it on us. Small amounts of drug possession. There's more black people in jail in America than net is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together. You can say they're just fucking up tugs. Imagine they're in prison every middle class kid that had ever held drugs. Oh, that's right, that'd be your kids. Bigger than that, what is going on with this prison in America's private business? To get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait. Also, legally, are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slave labor. Big corporations, they come out of jail when they can't get a job. So when we celebrate Damn. going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. Add to that, that the hood that you Damn. engineered social condition that breeds crime by design. Where do you think you get your money? And you can say that they're just black, but I like to deal with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America black towns, possibly centers of economics to education to make you proud but some people couldn't bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the kkk and other hate groups burn those towns to the ground killing hundreds if it ain't understood you think you were always living in the hood it's only been 60 years mm. since the hung blacks and burn them and that was so cool they were your baskets picnic baskets even gave kids the day off school go see a lynching have a picnic it's fun to watch the little monkeys die and people act a little dysfunctional you want to pretend that you don't know why if your color means you can this be man is to get oh justice my about goodness it. is it difficult to figure out how you would then end up he feeling is, about it and mm. excuses this is the truth mm. abuses that make a reality mm. a generation mm. of young i can't even of ourself as dirt let me just listen that's america this Britain, something similar, some different. In this country, the first enslaved were the working class. What's changed? Worst jobs, worst conditions. Most tax, look where you live, and yet you go to the pub. Friday night, you will fight with a guy. Don't know what for, won't fight with a guy. Shoot and a tight, you send your kids to die in a war. They don't send the kids to the rich or the politicians. It's your kids, the poor British. Mm. They're sent to go and die in a foreign land for these wars that you don't understand. Yeah, they say you are British, and that lovely patriotism they feed you. But in reality, you have more in common with immigrants than with your leaders. I know both sides of my family, black and white, are fed. 
or mentality reality in this system poor people dirt regardless of shade but with that said let's not pretend that everything is the same when our mm. grandparents came here to britain if you had a criminal record you couldn't get in that ain't protected mm. for all of the stupid stupid abuses they would be living kicked in the teeth stabbed in the street many times firebombed our houses put feces through our letterbox and of course the cops did so much about it daily up to the 80s people spitting in my palm because i was a goofy baby but of course that has had no effect on why today we are crazy and none of this was for any good reason they were just dark and grieving to ease the guilt now for all of this treatment constant stereotypes and needed so if i celebrate how big the bricks that i'm flipping clips that i'm sticking chicks that i'm hitting i'm playing my position but if i teach a kid to be a mathematician messing with yeah. this kid and how they're gonna fill a prison when materialism is no longer our religion what do you think we got now in britain just like america private prison prison for profit that mean when your kids go jail people make money off it so keep in mind that's real all right more jails at the same time market badness to the kids in the rhymes long as rich kids ain't dying it's fine get them to the point where some are so lost that you believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves Soft. It's because their soft was Malcolm soft was Marley soft. Tell me was Marcus Garvey soft? Well, was Muhammad Ali soft? Nah, nah, I think not. But they want us to think that the world is cool. Being on board is all we could do. We don't control the whole cell production, so who benefits from us moving the food? Or thinking there's no way out of old life. But Malcolm X used to hustle on the roadside. And Marcus mm. Garvey organized more than six million people with no Facebook or Twitter. Why is it something you can't eat? Ish. One of my mm. own homeboys did a 10 straight Damn. in the boxing yard. Now what's he doing? Passing his doctorate. Don't tell me that it's too hard. Who trained you to? believe you're inferior song boat ever though mm. in nigeria are the remains of an ancient moat dug 1000 years ago 20 meters wide 70 down round the remains of an ancient town that's 400 square miles around 400 square miles around please please don't believe me it was a documentary on bbc but we ain't mm. studying history too busy watching mtv and mtv mm, said, that's oh, real now everybody wanna that's go so real them. and mtv said pop magnums now everybody wanna go and pop magnum if mtv said drink prune juice you will start hearing that in tune soon hey today your warmer car yeah is it now more important what i got to say oh when i drive a mercedes by the way so everybody listen to what i got to say <laughs> does that make you all happy ah oh, but it's my head still nappy think for myself so some mad at me but on the mic ain't not one batters me all of this here's good for the rhymes put us in the same place at the same time and it's clear to everybody i'm out of my mind some of these guys are running out of the rhymes clear to mm. everybody that has got ears i'm the guy that they just might fear that they want to get near but they can't have a peer all day i'm hard looking you just like beer front on the kid for another mm, five years like do my shows and some criteria mean that much to him it's a movement i don't speak for myself but a unit black white man Woman, anyone who respects truth, we put in. Dudes are like, no, mm. we're just putting. Yeah, you're sweet, but no substance pudding. You can never ever mm. be with a level on. Our songs get played out, they're in Lebanon. We speak for the people properly, not for the old fat guys in offices and the girls loving. Ain't fair, you can't even be bothered to comb his hair. Anyway, that's enough kissing my own ass. Back to the more important task of being so shower. I've got half the hood screaming, knowledge is power. And I ain't saying that'll change that, that. But I do know this for a fact. Right now, there's a you on your block with his hands on his face screwed up. So he don't care, don't give up. That he won't let nobody call his block. But the words go in open your shack covers once that's happened there is no going back or would you start to see what is really happening who the enemy you should be attacking is so read 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 stuck on the block read read sitting in the box read read don't read, let them read. say what you can achieve because when people are enslaved one of the first things they do is stop them reading because it is mm. not understood that intelligent people will take their freedom because if we knew our power we would understand we can't be held down if we knew our power we would not mm. elevate not one of these clowns if we knew our power we wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies if we knew our power we would see what everybody Everybody sees that we're rich already. But never mind, MCs go run for your mummy. I'm hungry, I run for my tummy. That's enough. Back to worshiping money. I'm off. Back to the study. Oh, shit. Yo, this man went for like nine, eight minutes just spitting that knowledge. This is real rap. This is the art. This is rap at its best. Let me stop saying art, but this is art, my dude. This man is painting a picture with his lyrics, trying to spread that knowledge, and people just don't listen. He was talking about, oh my, yo. This man was talking about how society has warped us, you know what I'm saying? Instead of reading, we'll see what's on MTV, what's popular, we do that instead. You know what I'm saying? It's so crazy how all this stuff is to warp our minds and shit like that. Yo, this man, this shit was. Whoever, Brian, who sent me this? Yo, thanks for sending me this, man. This is. Just opened my mind a little bit. I've been thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? I need to read more. I definitely, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna probably read something tonight before I go to sleep. But this was, this was dope. I ain't gonna lie. I might have to listen to this again. This shit was dope. Akala, he was spitting fire in the booth times 20. I ain't gonna front. He was spreading that knowledge. He's spitting that. He really spitting that power. Knowledge is power for real. I mean, he went in, but yeah, that's my, uh, that's my thoughts on that. But, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, Subscribe and uh, tune in for the next video. All right, peace.